Hello everyone, I am here to clear up some doubts about Kipres because I still have a lot of people nowadays that come to me and tell me that they don't understand how I'm farming or that they don't understand why my Kipres keeps on farming, things like that. And uh, well, I plan to, to answer all of those doubts here. First of all, um, the reason we use Kipres mostly in speed is that it it is better to use with two tabs and by playing with two tabs we have much better control on the game i will launch key press here really quickly and i will um talk about what can be done just just from the beginning so here the buttons you have well the standard uh options to farm with you have a you have b you have c i don't have b because i don't have this b model configured whatever but you can click here let's say i wanted to attack with a on a i could click here and i could click a um, can I click A? No. Oh, A can't click because A is go to previous village, something like that. Let me try like K. Okay, K it works. So then I farm with K. I will farm with Q because Q is the key I used to farm. But you can assign whatever key you would like. Uh, you can't assign A and D, I believe. Those are the keys to go to the next village. It would like bug the script. So um, you don't, you are not able to do that. However, within the script itself, you can assign buttons to go to the next village. And that, if you have only one village, it's still useful because it allows you to reload the page. So let's say I'm here and I'm farming with Kipras. Let's send uh, uh, A attacks. Now I have no more A attacks. What would I do normally? Well, I would F5 and reload the page. But that would make it so I have to launch um, Kipras again. So if I click R, well, I have the list again, and I can just click again, and then I can click R, and then I can continue. So this is why you will see me constantly farm, I'm not even reloading the page. I'm just clicking R. So, yeah, instead of going to the next village, I'm reloading. However, obviously, when I have more than one village, it's not exactly like this. But but before me talking about uh, having more than one village, let's, let's start from the beginning. Why do we use Kipress? Because it's good to play on two tabs. So... Let's do that. Let's set up the two tabs here. Let's put them one right by the other. And let's let's answer some, some of the doubts of the people. Um, one of the doubts that people have is why or, or how, first of all, let me put 150. Why or how I am able to constantly send attacks. A lot of people may think it's a bot or something like that, but in reality, all I'm doing is I'm holding Q, I'm sending attacks, right? Yeah. You see, the, the attacks are being sent. If I wasn't holding Q, it would be doing nothing, so it's not a bot. It, it has to be triggered by me. So, if I just click on the the left side of the tab, or so on, on my tab that I watch the village, and say I will click and recruit. I'm not clicking anymore here. I, nothing is happening. However, if I click, if I'm farming, let's let's go to the first situation again. If I'm farming, I click on recruit and I immediately click back on this screen. Let's see what will happen. You see, it basically continues farming. So this is the real this is the real secret to doing this, because if you click on the right side on the right tab, every single time you click on the left tab. Um, you are able to um, to constantly farm, literally, or, or, or almost constantly, right? Because what do you do? You're farming here, then you say, mm, I want to recruit. You put your cursor in recruit, then you instantly click here. You don't even, like, and now I can, like, scroll. You can scroll in this tab while you are uh, um, in this tab in the main screen. However, let's say I wanted to recruit units. I would have to stop farming, I would have to input the number of units, and I would have to do this. So that's why a lot of the times you will also just see me do this, click all the units and click recruit. And like this, I'm not wasting time having to type, because having to type is a big problem for this, uh, because if you have to type, you are obviously not clicking again in this tab, and if you are typing, you can't hold Q. <laughs> so, yeah, that's also why... Um, sending messages or like inputting numbers of units is the only moment where you will see me stop farm um 
then um, that is that is basically how I'm able to constantly keep up farming. Another useful trick, and now let me just conquer villages really fast, because as I've told you, these buttons serve to change the village you're on. So, well, if I conquered some villages here, I would obviously have more. I hope the attacks do not take too long. Maybe they will. But um, the idea here is for me to show you... Um, how I would handle it if I had a lot of villages. So let's say I have a lot of villages now and I want to farm. I want to farm with all of my villages, which is totally normal. Uh, this is this is going to take way too long. I'm not going to waste my time um, with, with this many attacks. Okay, I have uh, 18 villages. That's enough. I will research scouts. And I will research light cavalry and that will be enough. I mean, I, I will make uh, spears and, and light caps to show you what I'm gonna show you. Okay, so now I'll first just make 20 scouts everywhere. And then the rest I will do this 5,000, 2,000. And this is... This is that. I wish the speed of the world was faster so that I didn't have to wait a lot for these units. But it should be fine. It should be fine. Shouldn't take too long. So the idea here is, if you are playing a round that is very high start, like this one, well, the even the warehouse is level, max level, so all of the barbs are like full. And you are going to farm with C in rounds like this, so um, most of the times you are not going to be sending more than one attack per village. You are mostly only going to send uh, one, because if you send one, look at here. Uh, this is my main village with 2,000 Elkav. I sent one with C and all my troops are out. So the, realistically what you're going to do is send only one attack per village. If you believe this is the case, you can assign the same button to C as you do to the change village button. So I will do this now. And if I just leave my finger in R, see what will happen. I'm farming constantly and I am switching village. So this is literally a legal farm bot at this point. It's literally a legal farm bot. This is a cool trick that you can um, use and abuse because it's legal, it's key press. So it's really cool and it sends 5 attacks per second. It's better than any other farm bot you may, you may think of. So um, yeah, it's, it's extremely easy. It's as easy as this and it is also extremely useful. That's for sure. So yeah, I think that when it comes to key press, that's everything. I can quickly show you um, me playing and um, and uh, give you an example of uh, a specific time in the video where, where this will happen, for example. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. So let's say we are here. And the time I was told is 36.37. The, the doubt of the player that messaged me. 36.37. So what happens at 36.37, it may look weird, is that I'm scrolling on this side. See, I'm, I'm scrolling on this side and I'm like farming on the other side still. But as I've I have just shown you, you can scroll even though you are not on the main tab. The main thing is you want to always click on one side of the, um, of the screen whenever you click on the other. So here you saw me now do some action there, then I click back on this side, very fast. Now I click on this side, uh, what will I do? I will click on reports, and then I will very quickly come here, and this is 0 .5, 0 0.25 speed. You saw how quickly I came to here? That's how quickly it is. I mean, it's, it's how quickly it has to be, for you to never stop farming. So yeah, everything I do on this side, whatever I may click on, I will click back on the other side. And if I don't click... If I don't click, let's say at 58, I believe, is the time. I'm going to be messaging this guy and I will obviously not be clicking. You will see that. Um, and you will see that my farm stopped now. I will answer him and I will be typing. Uh, I, I mean, I can put normal speed, whatever. I'm clearly not attempting to farm, so it's not farming automatically. It's not doing anything automatically. However, well, when I click again on the other side, I will click R. And I will click C 
and farm with no, not C. Well, A in this case. And that's about that. That's about that for um, for key press, honestly, and and its applications. It should be pretty straightforward. And um, well, if you have any doubts, still do let me know in the comments or uh, in uh, the Discord server. I'm always there, and uh, I'm always available to help. But yeah, I hope this helped you. If you still had any doubts um, regarding how key press works and how I play, and um, and that's it. That's all. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>